Are you the best girl ever? Hi. Uh, I need to get rid of this plant. I was going through my camera roll and I saw a picture of this when I got it and it looks like a completely different plant. I want someone to take it and give it new life. Also, my bush on the patio is dying. I think it's root bound. I just finished my coffee. I'm doing a quick face mask. I have a lot to do this week, like a lot. This box here that is overflowing, it is the rest of the pieces for my active and loungewear collection. We're gonna be shooting next week. I'm gonna do a whole video on that next week. Tika's pretty dirty, so it's bath time. You stink. I have a really exciting sponsor for today's video. This is a brand that I've been wanting to try out for a long time. Today's sponsor is Necessaire. How exciting. It's very simple, but it looks bougie. These ones are eucalyptus, which is why they are green. There's also sandalwood and bergamot and then there's a fragrance free option as well which is these ones here the eucalyptus scent just reminds me of the spa even just the way that this bottle feels is so satisfying i'll quickly run through all of the products but this one here is the body wash the body wash has vitamin a b3 c e and then omega-6 and omega-9 also all these products are the ideal ph for your skin so it's not going to throw off the ph of your skin oh man i just ate some of it somehow how did I get that on my mouth? Don't recommend eating it. <laughs> Next up we have the body exfoliator. It says to use this one to two times a week or as desired. The exfoliant has bamboo charcoal, pumice, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and lactic acid. It gets kind of foamy when you rub it in. And then when you're out of the shower, there's the serum and the moisturizer. You can use these separately or you can mix them together. The serum has hyaluronic acid in it, so it just makes your skin feel very hydrated and plump. And then the body lotion has vitamin B3, vitamin C, vitamin E, omega-6, and omega-9. I just got out of the shower, but I wanted to give you guys a quick review on what I think from my personal experience using the products. I've been using everything for about two weeks now. The body wash is really nice just for every day. I always use it after the gym. The exfoliator is really nice, especially if you use self-tanner. I've been using it to remove my self-tan. It does a really good job at gradually fading it out without it being um, like blotchy. It just gives a very like even fade out. I do have to say though, my favorite thing about this brand is the ingredients they use. All of these products are very effective, but they're also clean. Necessaire is a clean beauty brand. I don't know exactly what the criteria is to be considered a clean brand. Something I'm trying to be a lot more cautious and careful about is the ingredients that are in my products. A lot of beauty products have endocrine disruptors, which can really mess with your hormones. There's an app that I like to use, it's called Yucca and you can just scan the barcodes and it gives the products a rating and it shows you what ingredients in it that might be harmful or irritating. This body lotion actually gets a perfect score of 100 out of 100 on Yucca for having zero irritating or harmful ingredients in it. So this gets a gold star. It really sinks into your skin. It's fast absorbing and your skin just feels like hydrated skin. I do find that with a lot of moisturizers, after you apply it, your skin looks really hydrated and glowy, but you can kind of feel like a film sitting on your skin. This like fully absorbs and it just looks like your skin. Overall, I've been super impressed. If you guys are in the market for body skincare, I would definitely recommend checking out Necessaire. If you are interested and you want to check out any of the products, I will have links to everything down in the description box below. I'm just quickly getting ready right now and then I'm going to take Tika to the beach. I'm keeping an eye on the time because I'm wanting to get this pair of leggings from Maritzia. There's one pair available at a mall near me and then there's one pair available at a mall like in the burbs. I'm down to go to either location. I just want to get them. I also need to return something. Hoping to get that done today. I almost kind of want to go to the suburban mall. I was talking to friend Steve, which by the way, 
Steven has been in a few vlogs lately and I get so many comments from people saying that Steven looks so different from when we lived together. Comments along those lines. There's two different Stevens. There's Cousin Steve and there's Friend Steve. Friend Steve is like a foot taller than Cousin Steve and they don't even really look alike. But yeah, just to clarify, where was I going with this story? So I'm pretty sure Friend Steve grew up in like a suburban area and so did I. And so we both really like drive throughs big parking lots, just like overall space. You don't have that in the city. We were trying to find a Starbucks drive through the other day and there was just none. So I kind of like driving out like 40 minutes and having free parking in a huge parking lot and stopping by a Starbucks drive through It's the little things. It's really nice out, so I decided I'm gonna walk to the mall. I put the leggings on hold, so they should be there. I'm gonna return the sweater dress I bought. It's really nice, but it's like $200 and I just don't think I'm gonna wear it very often. So we're gonna swap it. All right, just got back. I'm sweating right now, it's hot out today. I'm not complaining because it's probably the last hot day that I will have in Vancouver, to be honest. I got a pair of the butter leggings and butter shorts. This material is so soft. I feel like I'll wear them a whole bunch. I ended up getting this sweater dress instead. This one was 130, so a little bit cheaper, but I just love the style of it. I never actually look in the mirrors at Aritzia because it's outside of the change room. I need to try it on and make sure I actually like it, but I'm sure these will be fine. Leggings are pretty easy. I made some banana bread. I already had a piece. And now I'm off to the gym for a class. It is 8 p.m. I just got home. I went to the gym and I took Tika for a walk. I still have fruit flies in my house, you guys. I take my garbage and organics out like every two days and somehow they're still here. I'm so glad I have leftovers. I have this thing of pasta. So yeah, this is gonna be dinner. I'm just gonna reheat this. This is honestly my favorite part of the day. Eating dinner, drinking a Zevia, watching Netflix. I'm quickly going through my closet before I go to the mall. It's so hard to get rid of things. I just, I feel like I don't have anything, but there's stuff here, you know? So I'm gonna go through everything by category and I'm gonna see what I need. I 100% know I need shorts. I actually ordered a pair. It's the Levi's 501 mid-thigh. I haven't tried them on. So I'm hoping they fit. I have no shorts and I need a pair of shorts for my trip. I've been trying to put together vacation outfits and it's been really hard. This is what I have for like denim shorts. This pair from American Eagle, they're really old. They're just way too short, like my butt cheeks hang out. I'm not into that. These white ones are from Good American. I actually really like these. They are quite short as well, but I wear them. I have this pair of Levi's. They fit good, but I don't really like the cuffed bottoms and they're not super high-waisted. I have a pair of black denim. I very rarely wear these because they're super uncomfortable. It's just hard to move around in. This is the one pair that I actually wear because they fit good and the length is nice. They're a little bit longer, but I have worn these so many times. They just don't look super nice anymore. I still wear them because it's like my only pair of blue denim shorts that I have, but when I'm trying to put together a nice outfit, like these just don't look super nice. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the American Eagle ones because they're just too short. Realistically, I just need one good pair of good fitting blue denim shorts. I feel like that is such a staple that you wear all the time. So I'm hoping that the Levi's ones that I ordered work. This is my current favorite t-shirt. It's from Fashion Nova. I just love the fit and all of the colors. I also have this t-shirt that I've worn quite a few times, but I feel like everyone has it now. I got this one last year, but it's from Urban Outfitters and I feel like they've had it in stock for a couple years now. And I also saw a knockoff of this on Shein. But again, I like the color and I like the fit of it. I have two graphic tees that aren't super oversized and I never go for them. I just like really baggy t-shirts. So I think I'm gonna get rid of like my more fitted t-shirts. Realistically, I just never grab them. I have this vintage Harley tee that I like. This is a random t-shirt that I got in Leavenworth at like a souvenir shop. I still like that one. 
just like a couple others so i'd be down for a white graphic tee if i found a good one but besides that pretty good in the t-shirt department i think i'm good for jeans my two favorites are from zara i have white wide leg this pair is my favorite they're also from zara they are a bit distressed they have holes in the knees and they're both super long the fit of these is quite similar like the white and these denim ones i also have a couple pairs these ones are like from reformation they're not really skinny jeans but they're not tight around the ankles but they're not quite straight leg either um, i do have a pair of straight leg that i love but the rips in the knees are getting too big. Crew neck sweaters are my absolute favorite. This one from Aritzia, I wear all the time. It's the extra AF fleece in size two. If they had this in a beige color, I would buy it and wear it every day, but I think it only comes in black and white right now. So I'm actually gonna go to Aritzia today and see if they have any like oversized crews in beige. I wear this one all the time as well. It's from White Fox and I have matching sweatpants. So I love that. I got this one in a PR package and it came with matching sweats as well. And I have worn this set quite a bit, but those are my super oversized crew necks. So I wear them the most. I have a few, this one is from TNA. This one is from Lulu. I think I'm actually gonna get rid of it. It's just a little bit too fitted for my liking. I never grab it. This one is from Zara. I got it like a couple years ago. I like the color, but I don't really grab it just because it's not oversized. I'm so into oversized. Like I just like, drowning in it baggy clothes you know okay i'm not gonna go through every single item of clothing but i'm good for hoodies i really need a pair of trousers i don't really have any good pants i don't own a single blazer and i feel like that is a staple piece that i need i have a lot of leggings but i kind of want to get a couple more pairs in different colors i'm really into browns and beiges and like that spectrum of colors i need to go through my crop tops because i have a lot but i literally wear maybe a quarter of them so i need to clear some of those out oh i also don't really own any skirts i did order one online it's like a midi kind of sweater material in a really nice color so i'm hoping that works i also need to get a pair of white sneakers like workout shoes for the photo shoot next week and then i'll probably keep them and use them or i could return them because i'm just going to use them indoor for the shoot but honestly, I'll probably end up keeping them. Wish me luck in this shopping trip. Hopefully I find some things. I just got to the mall. I forgot my camera, so I'm vlogging on my phone, but I just parked in the underground. I haven't been to a mall in so long. It feels weird and it feels depressing, but anyways, hopefully we can find some stuff. I'll update you. So the shopping was kind of a fail. I exchanged some biker shorts though. I just wanted a different color. Oh, you're probably hungry, hey? I got this cream color instead. The other color I had was pretty close to my skin color and then it just looked like I was naked. I also got this crew neck, also from Aritzia. It's just a really big oversized crew neck. I was wanting like a beige colored crew neck. So that was a success. And I feel like these will look cute together. I also grabbed a few masks from there cause I have been losing mine and I'm gonna need these for like the plane and stuff and just everywhere. I love how I go into this wanting to revamp my whole closet and I come back with a crew neck and biker shorts. I know I'll get wear out of those. I'm gonna use them for like travel days. I think it'll be good. Got a vanilla chai with coconut milk from Starbs. It's actually a few days later, but I wanted to pop in with a quick update because my jean shorts showed up and they are perfect. They fit exactly how I wanted them to. They're the perfect length. They were also under $100, which I feel like is pretty good. I'll try to find a link to these and I'll put it in the description box. I'll also leave links for all of these things. They're all from Aritzia, I kind of showed you already, but the leggings I got are in the shade Turner Taupe. I've already worn them a whole bunch. It's a perfect in-between warm and cool color because you can wear it with beige, you can wear it with gray. It's actually really good. And then the dress is called the Avalon dress and I think it comes in a couple different colors. So these are the pieces that I'm adding to my wardrobe and then I'm finishing up a purge. This bag is already full. I honestly feel pretty good. I'm being realistic about what I'm not gonna wear. I totally forgot I had pimple paste on my face. I'm just trying to dry out a couple zits. Why did I start filming? 
Oh yeah, I'm currently editing the vlog you are watching. I didn't vlog anything today. I think I'm just gonna cut it off here. We're already at like 14 minutes, I think. I feel like this was a bit of a random vlog. Uh, just another like few days in my life. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here to film an outro because I feel like I never do outros. So thanks for watching. See you guys soon. <laughs>